Fuck it. Good enough. Okay. Speaking of arcade, ever done King of Dragons or Knights of the Round? Yeah. I don't remember which ones I've done on stream. Like, if I haven't done any of them, you can fucking redeem them if you want. Like, I got a beaten list. I think exclamation beat will bring up the list of all the games that I've done on my channel. If it's not on there, you can redeem it. Uh, Joe Cater's steamed carrots and that's it. He offers them to people on a silver plate with a gloved hand and just says, more carrots, sir. That would be awesome. Would be cooler if he was a pickle baron. Pickles and radishes. A very nice cover. Yeah, I love this game. Such a good game. Much classic. Very nostalgia. Mine had a cutout where it shows the upper heart where you saw the silver cartridge. Okay. 86? Damn. Have you ever been so drunk you thought you could beat up a cop? <laughs> no. That is a fight you aren't going to win. Good advice. Oh, well, here we fucking go. God, I have not played this in so long. I hope I remember a lot. Name Kumpf? Aw. Damn. <laughs> Kumpf. Okay. Man, it's been so long since I played this. Some goddamn Octorox again, Peggy. Mein Kampf? Yeah. Now that you've been playing this for a few seconds so far, what do you think of Zelda? Worst game I ever played. It's fucking stupid. Look, you can see the strings. Boy, I'm gonna fuck me a Stalfos, I tell you what. Amazing action adventure for 1986, especially. Yeah, dude. For the time that this came out, most games in the 80s didn't get... Like, most games didn't get very good till like, 89, 90, in my opinion, so... Playing shit from, like, 86 or 87 that's, like, top-notch by today's standards still is just fucking so cool. Your shield looks like you're holding a Bible? Yeah, I know, it does. So I'm going to rewrite this in my head as some asshole going door-to-door -door preaching the good word. The good word. Boy, I'm gonna shoot a laser in his ass, I tell you what. Strategic playing tips for a cryptic ass game. Includes invaluable maps. What? Yeah, at least this game has a map. You know how many games I've played? Like, what was that last one where I really, 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 really fucking needed a map and there's like, nah. What's the name of that game? Brave Fencer Musashi. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's like almost 15 years after this fucking game and they're like, yeah, let's not include a map. Uh,. Your neighbor's uncle just called me and said that you need to pay back his $20 or he'll stuck that hat up your ass on your stream. I'll do it myself. I think there's a save option if you press some button combo on a second controller. What? This is Unlimited Continues, man. Uh, for Thip, they just listed the Nintendo Power Numbers LOL. <gasps> Not really, but that would be funny. Yeah, Thip. That's a good word. Otherwise, you have to die to save if I remember correctly. Or whatever that Nintendo hint line was called. 
I don't remember. I never found it. I remember me and my friends typing in 1-800-BOOBS on the fucking payphones and shit outside of school. 1-800-BOOBS. Okay. Gelling? I'm gelling. Hey, what's up, Stevie? What are you wearing? Nerd! Did any boobs arrive shortly thereafter? Nope! 1-800-PUPPIES? Mm -hmm. most peninsula is the sea. Yep, 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 yep. Right. That old guy speaking his gibberish. Oh, nice hat fucker. Who fucks hats? That's an actual number? 1-800-PUPPIES? Makes sense. For all your puppy needs. Give Dozy out of here. Fuck yeah. Give Dozy used to drive me fucking crazy when I was a kid. You never know when they're gonna stop and just like throw a boomerang at you. Ah, oh, there's a Give Dozy. Wait. Give those or give those the fucking monies. Can't even remember my Zelda lore anymore. I bought Carry On, and I'm dreading playing it. It's Metroidvania without a. Oh, it doesn't have a map, hey? That's stupid. I think I bought that game physically for the Switch. Kind of cool. You're pretty much a miscarriage, just like flying through corridors. Wow, finally reached fifty thousand points. Only thirty thousand more to redeem the game I want. Eighty thousand points. So it's like an N64 game, I'm guessing. You seem like an N64 guy. I think that rogue heron died. Sad. I saw a news article about a guy in Canada who choked and died while trying to make the world record for eating rubber bands. Not that I'll try, but what's the record? Every fucking stream, hey dude. I got three games for you this year. One of them is in fact N64. Beware. Beware. Uh oh. Wait, what do you mean this year? Stupid kid. Or I said this year like it's 2024 already? Oh. For all of 2024, you're only going to pick three games? Alright, fuck it, I need that. So we got a bomb and a boomerang. Alright. Record is 947 rubber bands in three minutes. Rogue died at 48. I accept this challenge. Heading to work here. Prove it. Just wanted to stop in and say hi. Prove it. Keep my watch streak going. Prove it. Probably watch more later. Alright, man. Sounds good. Nice butt. Oops. Come here, Becky. Come here, Becky. Hey, what's up, Golden? How you doing? Prove it. There, we got the Triforce. We beat the game. Ta-da! And that's Zelda. <sighs> Stop. Ah, uh, you know, just beat Mega Man 7. Boy, that was a fucking headache. It legit gave me a fucking headache, dude. GG, that's world record, I think. I have to practice my whole life for this moment. I'm here to say that the only Zelda games that are worth playing are the 2D ones. Yeah, they're definitely better. But I do love me some Wind Waker. And Ocarina of Time, but that just might be nostalgia. Apparently everybody hates that game now. 
They just, like, handed out a notice. Hey, everybody, Ocarina sucks now. I don't know about that. Thinking three games ahead of the time is enough for me, LOL, and I'm sure it'll take a while at 80,000 to pop. Wow. What up? Hey, Famicom, how's it going, man? I fucking beat Mega Man 7. Holy shit. How are you doing today? Other than Wind Waker, everything after Link to the Past is dog shit? Dude, I fucking love Wind Waker. Dude, Wind Waker's so good. Yeah, Twilight Princess was meh. Skyward Sword was meh. Breath of the Wild isn't even early Zelda. Majora's Mask was cool. I like that one. I always hated Zelda after Link to the Past except Wind Waker. What about fucking Link Between Worlds? That was fucking great. And Four Sword Adventures was cool. I like Wind Waker. The vibes are unmatched. Yeah, dude. Wind Waker's tied for my favorite with A Link to the Past. I fucking love it so much. Sploosh. Exactly. I don't particularly care for N64 to be Yeah, N64 is a fucking shit system for the most part. It's got a couple good games. Uh, compared to how many people fucking suck its fucking dick, you'd think it was the greatest thing in the history of time, but... It's weird. Okay, honestly, I said gagging. Some autistic who can do all things perfectly. I mean, you read chat messages more than anyone I see in Twitch, but you actually still play games well. Listen, lady. I can't read. I see Joe didn't make it to GG on Mega Man 7. Yeah, no, he couldn't fucking come. I tried to make him come. I did everything I could to make him come. He's got a wife and kids, though. So, unless you kill them, it's gonna be a little while. Indeed, he actually plays the games? No, I don't. Not well. I got to remember where to go. I haven't fucking played this game in so long. Most people I see on Twitch barely can read, but still fuck up in game every small step. Wait, 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 wait. Was that where one of them is? I can't remember. Holy shit, it is! Fuck yeah, thanks, brain. At least you can knock more games off your list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We were gonna do Clue on the Genesis that Mickey Murder redeemed, and then we had two arcade games coming up. Including, uh, Death Smiles, which is so fun. I don't remember what the other one was going to be. Hmm, I remember the second one's around here somewhere. Right? Did you play that Sega Zelda? I don't remember the name of it, but it's like fucking this, but Sega? Oh, Crusader Senti? Oh, wait, you're probably talking about a Golden Axe Warrior. Yeah, dude, I fucking love Golden Axe Warrior. That's my raid emote. It's the little dude from Golden Axe Warrior. Uh, most people on Twitch play the most brain-dead boring games ever made. I legit don't know how you can fuck up in something like The Last of Us or whatever. Oh. I need a candle, don't I, at some point? I definitely don't have enough money. What am I doing? Shit. Golden Axe Warrior, yes, that's it. Dude, I fucking love that game. It blows Zelda out of the water. I like Golden Axe Warrior. I haven't played it, but it's been entertaining to watch. God, that game is so fucking good. Yeah, Crusader Senti's the one that's like a link to the past on Genesis. Another, like, Zelda clone-ish game on Sega. If anybody's interested, it's fucking great. Hey, Chris, how's it going, dude? Just at work, stopped in to say hi. Dude, I beat your fucking Mega Man 7. And keep my watch streak. Wish I could streak. Where's me toothpick? Aha. Uh -huh. Also, happy Car November, y'all. I've never played Carnov before. Mm -hmm. This is number two, right? Yeah, level two. Okay. Ah, a rope.
You guys have a good drop rate for five cent fucking rupees. In case you didn't know, I played Karnov's Revenge. The game is so stupid. I love it so much. Karnov's Revenge? What's that on? Yeah, okay. I thought Boomerang fucked them up. a special attack. There you go. Neo Geo, pretty infamous for a 1994 game. Oh, okay. Is it like a beat-em-up or a fighting game or what? I disassembled my MSX? What? To prepare for the cap swap and now a new floppy belt? Man, there's so much... Yeah, I fucking bet, dude. Nah, <laughs> I'd be worried. Oh my god. This looks like the OG Zelda on Nintendo Entertainment System. No, 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 dude. No, not even close. How you doing, Slipmad? Any fighting game, but people will probably regurgitate the same shit YouTubers love to say about Kuso fighting games. Kuso? I've seen the movie. That was a fucking great movie. What's Kuso mean? Just woke up like three minutes ago. Cool. You got a pee boner? Nobody offers a cap kit for it, so I have to take each cap out and write it down. Then I'll send the list to the company and they will sell me what I need. Holy shit, I guess, dude. Not a lot of fucking people assembling MSX2s in this day and age. Kusuge means shit? Oh, okay, yeah. I feel like people have told me that before. Kusuge is Japanese, it means shit, okay. Literally means the insult shit in Japansy. Japansy. Wish my fucking headache would go away. Ooh, redeem when? Ooh, ooh, for us, Walter? Ooh, ooh, what? Yeah, I got a book called Super Kusuge Game. Hello, it's a game about shit game. That's a book about shitty games. I would fucking read that. When someone calls a game Kuso Kusogue, it means the game is probably janky and broken, but it's hella fun at the same time. Okay. Kuso can also be used in. Bad games is calling them Kuso Gi, which means shitty game like Kuso equals shit, Gi equals Gimu equals shit. Oh, okay, I said the same again. Have you guys ever watched the movie Kuso? Super cool. This one guy like has sex with a talking zit, and then these two people start smoking abortions. One of those movies, you know? The kind that make you come. I always wondered if Kuso fucking meant anything. Ujo? The psycho dog? Yeah, that's what I meant. No, actually, there's a movie called Kuso. K-U-S-O. I watched the movie Kuso, it was meh. I was disappointed, it was tryhard. What? You didn't like it? God damn it. It's fucking David Firth, man. I fucking love David Firth. Oh shit, it's that room. Isn't that where you get like the blue boomerang or something? Fucking useless. Dig up, stupid. You know what I love? Cake farts. Only I would buy a new console and immediately take it apart for recap. Probably a good idea. Those things aren't going to be fucking working forever. Kitten pie? Sure, I'll take three. Hmm. Kusa wasn't bad, I just had two... High expectations, it was okay in some scenes, met in some others. Overall, not worth the hype. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it could always be fucking crazier. That's why people like you gotta make fucking movies. Always do it to all my consoles working or not. Caps have a lifespan and I'd like to keep them working. Good, man. Fuck yeah. Another reason you deserve that MSX2 over somebody else. Uso was listed as one of the fucked up movies ever, then I watched it and I was like mostly just casual try hard with some okay scenes. What? Okay. What would you recommend? I've already watched a Serbian film. That uh, 130 whatever days of Sodom. August Underground Mortem. What else? Human Centipede, obviously. I like looking for fucked up shit. The dongle dislikes meth. In the glass cage? I've never heard of it. Have a hoid of it. It's like super fucked up or what? The dongle dislike band-aid porn. Fuck face. Bring me some bees. Bum 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 bum. Martyrs, the French one from 2008. Never heard of it. Plus, I like to make sure there are no bugs inside my consoles. What do you have against bugs? Okay. Glass Cage is an 80s movie and really fucked up. Okay. Yeah, have you ever seen Zardoz? That movie was like a fucking acid trip. Alright, two down, six to go, I think. When you say a new console, do you mean new or new to you? New to him. Uraba booty. Risk it? Nah, fuck that. Depends on if you like comical fucked up or realistic ones, though. Martyrs and Glass Cage are very realistic with zero comedy in them, not like Huso. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, either way, fucked up's fucked up. Yeah, I don't buy any consoles brand new. Oh, that attitude. I almost died going in there. Fuck it, let's get a candle. Find that. But those two are like in the veins with Serbian film, but more realistic? Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Oh man, I'm fucking up bad. Luna's snoring right now. I've never heard her snore before. Oh, fuck. Is it here? Or here? I know there's another fucking... 
wish I remembered this game fucking well. There's another fucking heart container somewhere around here. That? Maybe? I wonder. Fuck! Martyrs 2008, not the shitty American remake, is the only movie in my adulthood that I actually saw nightmares after seeing it. It's pretty dark if you let it sink you into it. That sounds really cool, dude. Actually. Always open everything regardless if I recap. Yeah, you got the fucking... Thank God. You got the fucking know how to do that kind of shit, too. Oh, hey, Mickey Murder. How's it going, man? How's your day? Uh, ever since a guy I know bought a SNES kiosk light online and Plugged it in the next day, all the cockroach eggs hatched in his house from the lamp heat. Ah, oh, fuck that. Hmm. Where the fuck? I want to get the Master Sword as quick as fucking possible. But I gotta try and remember where the fuck these stupid, uh... Heart containers are. Oh shit, another dungeon? Never mind. I'm doing good. How are you today? I'm okay, I suppose. I got a fucking headache, unfortunately. Master Sword you get after six levels. What? Oh, the White Sword. Um. My head would hurt too if I had to play Zelda at all. What? You don't like Zelda? No, I just beat Mega Man 7. Holy shit. That final boss sucked. Oh, it's the Master Sword, the second sword, or the third? Uh, I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't know. Second sword's after two levels? Oh, it's okay, so I only needed six. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that shit is terrifying, so after seeing him deal with that situation, I always check anything I buy online. Yeah, that would be a fucking horrible situation. French movie, A l'Interieur, 2007, is also a very good, brutal movie since you're into some horrors. How many points do you have saved up? I feel like you're somebody who needs to fucking redeem movies for me because you have fucked up taste. You've never played a Zelda? What the fuck? That's weird. I got a lot of respect for this game, but I'd really have to force myself to get through this. Oh, fuck. For some reason, I thought you got a bracelet here. Never mind. I have little points since I was permabanned earlier, and I have to collect points again to channels again? Permabanned? What? They take your points away for that shit? What happened? Probably misses his old glasses. Man, I love the giraffe hat. Oh, thanks, dude. I thought it was a pony. How you doing, Dante? I'm just going in circles. Bracelets under such a... Oh, yeah. This guy with the note. Show this to the old woman. That's me. I mean, Twitch is permaban my earlier account, like Cinna was, etc. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Permaban your earlier account. God damn it. What was your username? Can't access it without the ladder easily? I'll ladder you. Doing really well for no reason in particular, and I ain't questioning it. Could be. Well, that's good, man. Glad you're happy. I'm doing all right. I still want justice for my boy. My boy. A box, damn you! It comes ladder, not now. I'll make you come. Keep this up. <sighs> Is this a fucking thing? Hell, this. 
I take it you don't want bombing hints? No. Hell no. Man, I used to play this all the time as a kid. It's just been a really long time. Install the international global English version of Windows 11 for no bloatware. Relevant. Well, I could have had the points for a film if I didn't spam those for Allah Akbar. I bet Mel makes you come. Your name's Mel? What do I need? Oh, wait, I got a candle, didn't I? Okay. Mm -hmm. I make bitches cry and fill them with regret. Okay, then. Mel Gibson? Dude, I call her that all the fucking time. Mel Gibson's awesome. Mel Blanc? Sometimes. I want to play through the Famicom disc version of this game. It's got some different things that I'd like to see. Different? Like what? Oh, you can't... Once a screen? <laughs> Stupido! When you say Mel, it means Mel Gibson to me? Yeah, my girlfriend's name is Mel Gibson. I want to play the Famicom Disk System Metroid. Why? Right, what's it do? What's the difference? Send me a selfie on Discord? Can we do a second quest as well? Fuck no. Ain't got no time for Jibba Jabba. I don't do second quests on this channel. I just want to beat the fucking game. Let's you save? Oh, okay. Wait, you can save in this one, can't you? Ah, it's five trees counted either from the right or left. I just tried that. Definitely tried that one. Penis aliens? Fuck you, game. Um... Let's play Zero Mission. That game's great. Enemy sound effects, minor stuff that was changed for cart release. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. You can yell into the controller too, right? To kill the fucking... What's it? Fuck's that thing's name? Got a stupid name. Uh, fuck you. I think I've seen me like ten times. I have, but I've never completed OF Metroid. OG. Dude. Get a version that's got a little map. When somebody redeemed the original Metroid for me last year, they gave me a version that has like a little three by three map. It doesn't sound like it would help immensely, but I beat the game in like, I don't know, six hours or less. Is awesome. I have, but I've never completed. Oh, uh, you have OG. I do not remember. Have you continued or your Horizon and your brief interludes where you get to do Walt stuff lately? What? What do you mean? You're welcome. Yeah, thanks, dude. I tried to burn that bush and it didn't work. I would have just kept going and been like, huh, I guess that's a false memory. Uh, Metroid on NES, you have passwords, but Famicom Disk System can save. Okay, okay. So it's like the Turbo Booster for the Turbo Graphics. Yeah, those bunny enemies will die with the microphone. Pole's voice. That's what it's called, right? I've seen someone on Twitch's titties, but I must stay quiet. Horizon Zero Dawn, you mentioned playing it from time to time and really enjoying it. Oh, God. Forbidden West. Yeah, I beat uh, Zero Dawn, like, years ago. But I really wanted to fucking play my PS5 version of Forbidden West, like, really badly. I got to play it for, like, maybe three days, like, a month or two ago, but no, I haven't picked it up since. I have too much shit. I got too much shit. Every day I have to watch and review a fucking film. Ugh. Takes forever. Waltz, late guts. Uh, OF Metroid would probably make a lot of money. I'd play OF Metroid. A nude hack? Meet the old man at the grave. The grave! That chick was hot. OnlyFans Metroid? Ocean guy? Oh, it's this bitch. What? 
Oh, you gotta show it to her. Okay. Uh, Rouge is a fog at trolling me for my picks. Show her the money. I think the third one was around here, right? Gotta be. Have you ever woken up to maggots crawling out of your dick? Is that rhetorical? Yes? Uh, one of the main reasons I got in the Famicom disc system was to see the origins of certain games like Zelda 1 and 2, Metroid Castlevania 1 and 2. Yeah, for sure, dude. I mean, if there's little differences and shit, and you you know the games really, really, really well, there's definitely an interesting factor to it. Famicom disc system game I have worth playing is Doki Doki Panic. How many do you have? What the hell? You went through the square, you dick. A couple cheapy titles that came with it? Oh, okay. Another thing was the ability to save your game on Famicom Disk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have Simon's Quest, too? For the Famicom Disk system? Ah, Dark Nuts. My only fetish. Cubby! Bitch. Wanna know if you forgot to pick up an optional item in a dungeon? A blue boomerang in dungeon 2? Or something else? It's just Mario 2 and Mario 2 is tits? Yeah, I just beat that fucking game. Grandma tits. Bombs! I sucked 1200 dicks and all I got was a fucking bomb? Oh, okay. Mario 2 gave me that cool rat with the shades? That's true. Yes, the blue boom boom. My pants to my poop. Could use a fucking pee boner. Oh, man. Are we at the boss? No, that can't be the boss. Level 6 is where it starts. Yeah, I hate wizard robes, dude. I fucking hate them. Uh, I fucking love Mario 2, but I hate that everyone on the internet is like, Did you know Mario 2 is Doki Doki Panic in Japan? Dude, I had that happen so many times during my playthrough. Ugh. Oh, fuck. I don't know why it agitates me. It shouldn't. It doesn't make any fucking sense why it would. I sucked 1,200 dicks and all I got was anchovy paste. Are you fucking high? Dude, that wasn't the boss. What the fuck? Man, I just went straight for the boss. I didn't even mean to. 
Not because we've heard it a thousand times, literally? Yeah, yeah, that's probably why. I mean, it's insanely common knowledge. It's literally like the only thing known about the Famicom disk system. It had me a dick system. Hey, okay, three down, five to go. This game's fucking short, hey? Oh! I, in I ran because I didn't want it to just explode onto me randomly. Again. Fucker. That would never happen in Gordon Axavaria. I get five fucking rupees every time I do it. No. But yeah, no, I was disappointed that Gundam game I bought was some strategy game. I thought it was gonna be like Hot Scramble. Hot Scramble? I don't know. Somebody made me play a Gundam Wing fighting game on the Super Famicom the last month. It was really, really, really beautiful. If you have 250 rupees, then the blue ring is worth it. Do I look like I've got 250 rupees? I did watch a cool documentary about the Yume Kojo Festival that the game was originally made for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Festival. You'll have it sooner or later? What? AIDS? Wow, that thing's weaker than a stream of ant piss. Hot Scramble's a pretty decent Gundam game. It's like half shmup, half playformer, kind of? Platformer? Oh, okay. Next time you do like a 20 minute game thing, I'll redeem it. Alright, yeah, I'm doing that tomorrow. Uh, snakes and jumping spiders with the big money sacks? Yeah, ropes are constantly dropping shit, but tech tights are just so unpredictable, man. I fucking hate them. Hardly anyone knows about the festival, which is a shame, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't I've never fucking heard of it until you brought it up. Hey, Makar, how's it going, dude? How's your day? How about Shadowrun on Super Nintendo? I have not gone through that game yet. There's a hot scramble game on Famicom Disk System. Is that like an anime or some shit? The game in this... The combat in this game is very good. It's not bad, yeah. Alright, cheerio. Nice ass. I won't be around tomorrow. Someone should totally redeem hot scramble for me. Oh, no. Fuck, you'd think one of them would die by now. There we go. <laughs> Bitch, and thou shalt receiveth. Chillin' playing a comp for a new season in this VR shooter tonight. Fuck. I still have never played a VR. All in the details, how fast you can move, how long the attacks take, all very Polish. You're Polish. Dude, look at all this crap. Now, what the hell? I only got one bomb? I need to learn how to use my modded Famicom disk system unit to reprogram dicks. Sometimes dicks are dead, or I can put translated games on- oh yeah. I guess. I mean, how long is that shit supposed to last, right? Japanese polished? Got the map, eh? Hmm. 
Oh, okay. No point. I've got a few games that are dead or were rewritten with different games. Hmm. Have you ever seen anybody go for, like, a complete fucking Famicom Disk System set? Or even, like, accomplish it even better? I imagine finding all that crap, like, pristine and not, like, fucked with and working would just be insane. You know? Did the Famicom use floppy disks? The Famicom disk system did, yeah. No, I did not. Is that like the same console but different game medium? Ish. What is with all these extra keys, man? I've seen one guy do it, but not complete in box. I was attempting to get the set all... Co yeah, 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 yeah. It's a slightly smaller disc than standard 3.5. It's like CD-ROM add-on, only much worse. <laughs> I guess. But you gotta, like, think of the time that it came out, right? I have a nice floppy dick. Yeah, you do. Where the fuck's the goddamn map? I wanna know if I've been everywhere yet. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I got the fucking weapon, right? Like, what else could be in here? It's about 250 titles. And you're at what? Oh, there's the map. It's the final room? That would be hilarious. <laughs> it was. Oh, it's a swastika dungeon. Uh, this song sounds pretty familiar. It does, doesn't it? What is that, Donkey Kong? Uh, sure, but it must have been the difference in price because a cartridge is probably much better than a floppy disk. At least in terms of longevity and loading times? Nah. Yeah. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Ain't got no time for Jibba Jabba. to get a fucking heart piece, but we should also get the second sword upgrade. This is getting redonkulous. I do like me a floppy. And just thumb it in, Grandma. How many rupees do I have? They look like realistic monsters. Oh, the Manual of Zelda 1 features a lot of concept art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. My mom loved that shit when I was a kid, and A Link to the Past as well. This is like my mom's favorite game, man. This was my earliest memory in life, was just like hanging out with my mom, sitting on this like orange shaggy fucking carpet, and just like watching her play The Legend of Zelda. Like, listen, like, yeah, she'd like turn it on, and then she'd like go grab some coffee or some shit. I remember just like sitting there as like a little, little, little fucking kid. Just, like, watching the title screen, and then it starts, like, scrolling down and showing you all the items and shit like that. Would you rather flip or flop? Flip. Yeah, Famicom Disk System games were cheaper, and you could go to a kiosk and rewrite your games for super cheap, so that's why people loved it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Remember when Sega tried to rip that off, too? The fuck was that thing called? Flyleaf? No, that's a band. Was it Wonderleaf? Something leaf, I think. Uh, that's why I think this game was originally going for semi-realism and not complete cutesy stuff. AIDS. Ah, play the whistle there. I remember. Okay. I remember. I feel that floppy games don't last that long. The more you use them, the faster they deteriorate. Oh, that would suck.
Oh my god, fucking Zola. Is this where meat is? I remember I need meat. I also fucking need arrows, I guess. That stupid crab creature. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Let's save up for the arrows. Lead one, right? No? It's a different game, I guess. Just think about when you were a kid. And you wanted a new game, but 50 bucks is a lot, and it was like a 10 it was like a 10 bucks for a new game on the kiosk. Yeah, dude, it's super fucking cool. That's why it was often practiced to make copies of original software and use the copies in daily use instead of the originals. For PC shit. Yeah, I, that makes a lot of sense. I feel like people who ask this or that questions to streamers need to answer them first. Who are you referring to? Drop some fives. Oh, it's just copying Elegos? What an Elegos wants, what an Elegos needs. But I think I'd rather flop, because fishies flop around. Aww. What does that fucking ring do again? I, I don't even fucking remember what it does. Does that, like, double your fucking health? Or whatever, like your defense. But I also need that fucking meat, but I was saving up for arrows. Shit. Fuck it. Grumble, grumble. Adds your damage taken? Okay. Alright. Waterfall again. I grabbed the raft or the ladder. I don't even remember. Raft. Wait, is this four? I don't remember who the boss is here. Ah. Raft. That's very true. Oh, it wasn't specifically aimed at you, just made me think. I hear a lot of this or that questions in stream, and most are ridiculous. Okay, well, he thinks that might be the boss that needs an arrow to the face. So, time to grind up for a fucking arrow. But... I also need the sword. Another cool thing in Japan is they had rewritable Super Famicom and Game Boy carts, and you could have a few games on one cart. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. Oh, fuck. The game's a favorite of mine. Flash cart? Yeah, but it was official from Nintendo. Yeah, and I mean, for the time, right? That's what you gotta think about. You can't think about it in terms of, like, 2023, right? Ah, fuck off. Got no time for jibba jabber. Good gravy. Japan was ahead in electronics at the time. They were white carts called SF Memory and Game Boy Memory. What the fuck? Do you have one? At least that's what I gathered from popular media. No time? Not even a little time? There's a little bit of time for Jibba Jabba. Fuck!
I have a Game Boy one? Oh, dude, super cool. Maybe just some jabber? Fine, dude. Three-eighths of a jabber. Coming up. Three-eighths. Hey, 2005. How's it going, man? What's good in the hood, y'all? How is Mega Man 7 Wily? Oh, I couldn't beat it. It was too hard. I gave up. Fuck it. Fuck that game. Cool. Just my size. Three-eighths. I got this game for some Christmas in the 90s. Magical time. All right, we got fifth. I remember where the fifth is. I remember where the fourth and fifth are. What are you beeping for? I forgot. I fucking... Yeah, fuck Wily. He's balding. No, actually, though, I fucking beat it on my second try. God, that was fucking... Yeah. I still had an E-Tank left, too. I pretty much learned the pattern to all ten of the bosses. <laughs> fucking so difficult. Until you learn the pattern. And then you just need, like, a little bit of luck for that final battle. The prayers worked. Couldn't have done it without you. You could go to a store called Lawson's and get groceries and install new cheap games on your flashcard. Lawson's. Martin. No, 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 Batman. I loved Lawson's when we were in Japan. That's kind of a weird name for a Japanese store, right? Lawson's? Ah, fuck these things. Found out Lawson's started in the US? Okay, well I guess now it makes a little bit more sense. Then opened up in Japan, then failed in the U.S. and thrived in Japan. Why? What do they do different besides, like, 7-Eleven shit like that? Eh, well, I'm done with work. Time to drive. I'll see you guys on the other side of the potato. There's another side? Fuck. I like the way you press the B button. Aw, oh, thanks, Shug. Mmm, potato. What's up, CJ? What are you wearing? 7-Eleven is also popular in Japan? Oh. I guess that makes sense. I think I saw it in a Yakuza game. And that's Japan, right? Alright, we almost have enough for that goddamn fucking arrow. Yakuza? No, that's Germany. Oh, okay. Makes sense. What are the gangs in Germany called, anyway? Uh, the SS? Let's plan a trip to Japan, Walt. I'll meet you there. Dude, that'd be so much fun. Fuck, that would be so much fun. I want to see one of those giant fucking six-foot salamanders. LOL. Tell me I'm wrong. The Luftwaft. The Nedrangheta, Camora, and Cosa Nostra are apparently the names. Fuck, it sounds Ugandan to me. Isn't this, like, the final dungeon in the game right here? Sure is. 
Uganda regret that? Sega Fan Con in Tokyo 2024? Dude, that'd be great. Is it snowing yet in Canada? No, dude. For some reason, there's just no snow yet. It's like the first time fucking ever, man. Usually it's snowing in, like, October. This is level 8. Level 9's the final one. Oh, yeah, that's right. The double rock thing. Okay, there's 9. It's all coming back to me. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, you inbred cunt. Still don't have enough for a fucking arrow. Man, you gonna beat the game in 45 minutes? I mean, I doubt it. Melissa's gonna phone any minute. <sighs> It'll have to be tonight, and then we'll start up something else, I guess. I don't know. It sucks, though, man. I saved this game. Like, I try to save uh, Jeff Lone's games for the morning, because he's never here at night. And he was, like, really looking forward to this one. But he's, like, not here today. Eighty. I don't remember. There's something here. This seems like the kind of area that would have something, right? No? Fuck! Is it here? Close to this? Oops. No Joe, huh? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Okay, it's not here either. That's gay. If I drop 20 bucks, can you restart but save it for tomorrow? This? Um, yeah. Sure. I can do that. Fuck, we almost have enough for the arrow. I'm trying to find a map as well. The one secrets Google's let me down. The thing is getting increasingly bad. Weird. I think it wouldn't be so fucking hard to find. me toothpick. Why do you want to wait for this to be tomorrow, dad jokes? I'm gonna start up another game tonight. I got no fucking problem with that. I don't even remember what's coming up next, actually. I gotta check my list. So Jaflone might see it? Oh! Oh, well, that's super nice of you. Fuck! He doesn't even have an arrow. Oh wait, tomorrow's the Retro Redeem Day. It would have to be Saturday. Saturday. Need a fucking arrow. I don't want to go to Dungeon 4 until I find the fucking arrow. Wait, there's a shop down here, right? Never mind. Kind and caring, father. Mm-hmm. 
Go Jimbo. You came and you found me a turkey. On my vacation away from worky. All right, all right, I'll pay 80. I'm doing Rick the best I can! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fuck him. I wasted all me bombs like a chump. Answer to thou. Hey, Blurp. How you doing, Blurp? What are you wearing, Blurp? blurp a blue. Happy. All right, next to Dungeon. Two keys left over? What the fuck? Every racial slur at once? Whoa! Okay. Oh yeah, these fucks. Don't they burst into red bats? They doff. <laughs> Some damn fire keys again, Peggy! No point. Oh shit, we got a dark room. Anybody else in here never beat this fucking game before? Why are you back already? <laughs> never played it, actually. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, but it's been a long time since- yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. I'm surprised I remember half as much as I do. Actually. up in here, right? Fuck, man. Fine, fuck it.
feel like there's a bunch of these walls that can just be blown up. I only have four bombs, and I don't want to waste them, you know? the fucking ladder, right? Okay. Two, four, six. We're only missing six heart containers. Soon to be four. How many until you can get, like, the fucking sword from the dick in the graveyard? You have to be, like, missing two? Two. 